Let's look at how we can convert from uh, polar to rectangular and back. And on the 48GX, it's really cool if you know the numbers. So in other words, if you just knew it was 10 at an angle of 60 degrees or 3 comma 4. Um, we'll look at these in a minute. It's not so great when you have something that is a uh, that you don't know the exact value of, or the, sorry, the approximate value. So to convert, let's just put this in. This is really straightforward. You put it in as, so I'm doing it as a complex number. The vectors work similarly. And I am in degrees right now, so when I put that 60, the calculator knows it's degrees. And because I'm in rectangular mode, as soon as I hit enter, it's going to switch it and give me the rectangular coordinates. Let's say I wanted to go back. I'm like, oh no, I want polar. I, all I have to do is hit this green key and say polar. And there's our polar. So you can just sit there and go back and forth between rectangular and polar real easily. And if you were like, uh, what is that in radians? That's easy too. You just hit the purple key. It's got rad right here. It puts in a radians mode. And there you go. Now it's not nice. It doesn't say pi over 3. It's the approximation, but still pretty slick how that works. And if we want to go the other direction with, um, since we're in polar mode right now, I'm going to turn it back to degrees. But since we're in polar mode, I can put in the, when I put this in as three, I can use a comma or a space. Space is easier on this calculator because comma is shifted. Um, when I put that in, it, it automatically switches it to polar. So really handy that way. If I want to switch back to rectangular, again, I can just toggle, and both of them toggle back and forth. So it, it is an all or nothing, like everything on the stack is going to change. So it's great there. Now, this is where it's not so great. If you have something where you're not sure the, the value of it, so I don't, you know, yes, do I know that that's negative 120 degrees? Yeah, but let's say it was not something I knew. I mean, it could have been two pi, negative 2 pi over 7 or whatever. So I haven't found a great way to do this. Obviously, you could figure it out and then type it in, you know, manually. So here's one way, though. Negative 2, put in a pi, divide by 3, and then turn that into a number, meaning give the approximate value. So now I could just key it in, 2 at an angle of negative 2.09. If I don't want to do that, I'm just going to make a duplicate here of it. If I don't want to do that, I could go in and edit this and type in... I know I'm doing complex, so I've got to do my parentheses. It, it wants to put both the left and the right side of the parentheses or the open and the close. So I've got to do a little, got to get rid of the close parentheses. Put my two, type my angle symbol, and then when I hit enter, um, I forget now if I was in radians. I need to make sure I'm in radians. Let me switch that. I think it'll still let me. Okay, so I'm in radians now. And when I hit enter, it should go right to rectangular. Not what I was expecting. Let's see. Oh, actually, yeah. No, that's fine. I'm in, I'm in polar. So if I go into rectangular, there's the rectangular value. It is got a weird rounding error there. So it's negative 1, comma, negative 1.732. And then, likewise, if I want to go the other direction here, um, radians, so... You can just leave it as is, since this is rectangular. It doesn't matter whether I'm in radians or degrees. And I don't know what the square root of 3 is, so I do 3, square root, negative, and then same idea. I'll make a copy of it by hitting Enter, and then I can edit that, put in my parentheses, get rid of the first, and go over here to the end, space, 1, enter and there's our rectangular coordinate if we want to switch it to polar we just switch it like that there's our polar expression of the same all right let's look at converting these on the prime the since i'm in degrees here and this calculator is currently in radians i touch the upper corner here and switch it to degrees if we want to convert this oops we just put our parentheses 10 we use the shift in this angle symbol 60 it knows we're talking degrees enter. If you want to switch it, all you have to do is hit the shift and type this angle symbol and it switches it. So 5 comma 8.66, which is nice. If you wanted to see that in radians though, it doesn't work like the 
48x if or gx if you if you switch this over to radians it just says okay the next thing you type is going to be in radians so it doesn't dynamically switch the value of what's on the screen let's do rectangular into polar so 3 comma 4 type it in if we want to do polar we do shift and do that angle symbol and it sw switches it to 5 at an angle of 50 3.13 and if you're like I didn't want degrees I wanted radians um, you could hit 3 4 copy it to the stack change your mode up here to radians and I believe when I hit enter and do shift it'll switch it there you go so 0.92 radians 93 radians but notice the one is still in degrees and the other ones in radians and there's no uh, the calculator doesn't really remember which is which. So that's a, a nuance. I feel like the GX is a little more coherent that way. All right, so let's, oops, well, it doesn't matter. I don't know why I've still got a th three over four on the stack. Not sure what that's about. Okay, let's do these here. If we wanted to convert these, I'm gonna hit this toolbar key. Well, not toolbar, but the, uh, I don't know what, what you'd even call it different different um, expressions here so I want fractions and we're gonna do negative 2 times pi over 3 get that value and then we just do 2 comma and we want that angle we are in radians uh, up here still so that's good and now I want that value so I just touch it hit copy puts it in here I hit enter and then I do my shift angle and it switches it Oh dear. Oh, I see what I did wrong. My bad. I do, uh, let's get rid of those. I do this, two, I, I forgot. I gotta tell it that it's an angle. I just put it in as a rectangular coordinate. Touch that, copy, hit enter, and then we can do, and there's our uh, rectangular coordinate. And it's the exact same as it was on the 48GX. So it must be a rounding error due to the, the binary conversion to decimal. And let's do this last one here. So we're going from rectangular. I think this might let me, let me see if it just lets me type in square root of three. That would be nice if I could. I should have checked that ahead of time. Does that work? Ooh, that's sweet. Okay, that's handy to be able to do that. And I wasn't paying a ton of attention. It's interesting to me that it put it into that format. But anyway, it, these are both recognized by the prime as imaginary numbers. So there's our rectangular coordinate. If we want to switch it, we just hit shift and this key here. There's our um, polar coordinate. And if we we're like, oh, no, I wanted it in degrees, you would, if you switch it right now, it doesn't. It just assumes, oh, now it's degrees. So you, you have to have it as a rectangular, put it as degrees, and then switch it. Takes some getting used to. So two at an angle of, oh, I forgot the negative out front. So two at an angle of positive 30 degrees. If I, let's say, oops, that was a mistake. Grab this, copy it, go to the front. Let's say it was a mistake, since it was. All right, so we put that in there. There we go. Now it's negative, and if I want to switch that over to polar with degrees, there it is, two at an angle of 150, or if I wanted radians, switch it to radian mode, do the same thing.